Hi guys and welcome to episode 14 of PGR2 Road to Platinum in the arcade mode. So we've only got eight more events to do to finish off the Cone Challenge series or section of the arcade mode and it's going to be in the compare and contrast section with Cone Challenges 13 to 16. All still one lap so not quite got to the hardest section yet. But starting things off with the Bentley Continental GT in Chicago. A fairly big track considering it's only one lap. Uh, 3,300 kudos, so sort of an alright amount, not, not too bad. Not too much to get, but it did take me quite a few attempts to get this one. I'm choosing to slide around that corner. And there's a couple difficult sections in here. Sliding around all these corners... You can um, choose good lines on some of these corners. This one's an example. I chose for a good line there instead of a slide around there. Coming over the bridge. Now, this is the hard section here. You have to slide through this cone in order to get through this cone. And again, in order to get through that cone. So a couple slides either side of there to make sure the combo stays. Because normal driving through that section will result in the combo being dropped and this cone there is also weirdly placed. Passing through this section with a couple slides. Actually having to adjust quite badly there. And quite far away from the other cones are choosing to slide. And again not carrying enough speed. So another slide in there. And a third time. Because you do need a lot of speed through that section. And I wasn't confident in driving through there. With the speed that I had to try and get it. So I did opt for quite a few slides. But that bumped our combo up. All the way to 3,800 and we did actually lose it on that section. So it's not a full combo this one. But luckily, obviously I still got enough. So I was able just to drive normally until the finish. Not even really bothered about the slide. Did it way too late anyway. But that does put us over 4,000 including the clean race. 4,300. So a good 100 over the target. So not too bad. Not uh, not 100, sorry, 1,000 over the target. So not too bad. Didn't do it in one full combo. But because of all those slides that I did down that straight section, that meant I was able to pass quite comfortably there. But I'm sure there is a way of getting around that S-bend and power sliding out and getting enough speed to do it all, but I couldn't quite do it. So that was my method. And we come to Cone Challenge number 14, the hardest one out of the four in this section in the... Golf R32 in Florence for this one. A smaller target, but it is very difficult. Now, in this playthrough, I um, decided to not link these together. And I've heard a couple ways of doing it. You can either slide between all these cones and try and link all them together. Or, I've been told you can reverse a little bit um, before the start. So you come before the start line and then start accelerating and you will have enough speed. But this corner around here is very difficult. I didn't slide around there, so I got a very good line and kept my speed through, which is very important to get enough speed to link all these cones together, because that can be very difficult to do that, and it's quite a narrow corridor to try and slide down, so that's not the best, and that hairpin's difficult as well to slide around there and get enough speed, and sliding around here, now there's another difficult section coming up, so going around here, try and go as quick as you can, to link all these cones together. Driving through here quite normally. And here is where I normally drop it by not having enough speed. So nearly overcooking that and completely hitting the barrier. But sliding between all these cones again. Just to keep the combo going. Not the prettiest strategy but it is one that worked for me. And then just driving normally through all this bit and slide to finish. So again that was a hefty amount over what we needed. Thanks to them extra slides again down the straight. So way over a thousand more than what we needed. 1,200, nearly 1,300. But that one's not easy at all. Definitely the hardest one. Took me a good uh, nearly 40 minutes I think to do that one. Very difficult indeed. Having to find the right uh, combo for all the sections. But it was a full combo apart from the first two cones. So that's not too bad at all. And we come to the last two, which I think are easier, but this one's potentially not easier. I think I got quite lucky with my run-through on it, but we're in the Porsche Cayenne Turbo with a, a lot bigger target this time, 10,500. 
2 minutes 20 to try and do it, but it is a uh, quite a big track in Edinburgh. So it does take quite a while to do. But uh, this car feels a bit like the Bentley to drive. Not very agile, quite heavy. Both four-wheel drive as well and similar speeds. So not the best car for this. And it's quite wide as well for the cones. But driving normally through here, power sliding around that corner. And then slaloming through all the sections because they put the cones in weird places. And you have to carry as much speed as you can through there to get to the next cone here. As you can see, it's quite a distance there. So that can be quite challenging to get through there. Putting a slide in through here and also here you have to slide whilst accelerating. Really try not to drop too much speed because this straight is very important to have a lot of speed. So you can link all these cones together without any slides in between. So I managed to get this section right. All linked together there and then sliding around this corner. Slaloming through these cones again. Nearly hit the cone there, so I had to adjust, which meant I nearly hit the wall, actually. So, quite a tight section around there. Getting a good line around there, and also a good line around there, through the clean section, so that helped me out there to link those cones together. No need to slide around there, because you might lose control. And then driving normally through this section, again, slaloming through all of the cone gates, which can be a bit of a pain. Come around here... Driving fairly normally now. Quite conservative because I'm near the end of the race. Don't need to do anything crazy. And then for the last corner, just a little slide in here. Just to link it together. And one final slide before the finish line. And we're way over again. So even though these have been difficult, I have beat the target by quite a few kudos each time. So I think that one's actually over 2,000. It is 2,100. And 27, so quite comfortable in the end. With the full combo there, linked the whole time. But we get a tasty amount of kudos for that one. 17,600 in total. So it is the longest one with the most, uh, well, the most kudos for the target. But I found that one easier than the first two, for sure. Um, the Golf one was the hardest. Then I'd say the Bentley. And then this one's probably the third hardest. So we are going to move on to the last one for the episode. Which I did find the easiest one out of the four. Uh, it's the shortest track and not a great deal of kudos needed. And it's quite a wide track as well. So there is quite a lot of room for error in that one. But we shall get onto that once I've finally exited off the screen. Here we go. So the last one, Cone Challenge 16 in the Morgan Aero 8. And you can tell by the map of the track that it's not going to be too difficult. It's like a disformed square, so there are going to be four straights. So, starting things off with a slide just about. It's quite hard to get that first slide, but it is important just so you get that extra combo. Because I did pass this one. Well, I got round in one combo, but it wasn't quite enough. So, I had to try and make some more combos happen. So, that was the first one I did. So, driving normally through this bit, actually nearly losing it through there sliding round here getting a couple in there actually not taking quite the right line but this car is pretty quick so it's going to save your ass on quite a few of these sections especially if you're going slow so it's quite a bigger target than um the other well the first two i think it's bigger anyway um and the track's probably about the same size but you are going quite quick in this car quickest car we've used in the four sliding round there so really, it's fairly simple, this track. Nothing too complicated. And the car's quick enough to get between most of the cone gates. So this is a welcome change from for being an easier one towards the end. And a final slide to get across the line there. And it's a lot less comfortable than the other ones we've done. Just passing by pretty much the amount of a clean race. If we didn't have the clean race, we were still just a bit over. But I was close. Very close indeed. But we did manage to do it. Again, it was my second attempt of getting a full combo. And this time it was over the amount we needed. Get 9,667 kudos. So we are getting through those ranks. Or getting the kudos, uh, the kudos needed to get up to the next rank. Because I think I'm on 50. Nearly 51 now. I'll have to check when I do exit out. 
I am indeed on number 51 now, so very far up the ranks now, and it's a hell of a long way till 2 million there. So I don't think we're going to rank up by doing the next four, but that's it for this episode, guys. So we've got four more cone challenges to do until we finally finished PGR2 for good, and that is in the slippery when wet section. Cone challenges 17 to 20, and this is where things get interesting as there are two laps in each event, and they are all in the rain, so it's going to make it very difficult indeed. So stay tuned for that, guys. And as always, if you enjoyed, please like the video. And if you're new, consider subscribing if you want to see more content. And I'll see you next time.